Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, if you didn't know by the title, is all about being happy and positive. Which definitely is something that I have struggled with in the past. Um, I know, I'm sure a lot of people do. I really feel like being happy and positive is a conscious effort that we have to make every day because there are just so many things in the world that are going to drag us down, make us unhappy, and kind of take away our joy. So we have to take the control back, take your own happiness, and make your own happiness. So these are some of the things that I've learned over my years on earth, and granted, I've just kind of taken this approach to life recently, and it has worked wonders in my life. So for starters, um, jobs in school, certain things that are stressful and make us unhappy. You know, people that work jobs that they don't like. Um, I work a job that I don't necessarily love because it pays the bills. It's not a bad job, but it's not in the field that I love. So therefore, I'm not going to be as happy as I could possibly be doing that job. Especially having to juggle both my, you know, YouTube, doing makeup, and my regular job is kind of, it's stressful sometimes. Not to mention having to make time to spend with my loved ones and, you know, do fun things. So it's not always easy. But these are some of the tips that I have kind of adapted to my life that have really made a difference. One um, thing that I do every morning, I try and remind myself of all the things that I have to be grateful for. Um, that I feel like just kind of helps push some of the negativity away of things that might be like weighing you down. When you get up in the morning, if it's early and you have to go to work, of course you're not going to be in, in the greatest of moods, but I feel like if you start your morning trying to make that effort to think of positive things, it's definitely going to help your day continue in a positive um, direction. Now, by no means I'm not an expert at this, I'm just telling you guys stuff that has worked for me and helped me in my life. Um, and this, you know what, being positive and taking this approach will help you in being happy with yourself, but also in the relationships around you. So whether it be with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, your parents, your sisters, your friends, it's definitely going to help those relationships because when you're happy, you're your best you and you can be a good friend, a good daughter, a good son, a good, you know, wife, whatever. So that has definitely helped me. Another thing that I do is if I do feel myself going in a negative direction, I try and pull myself out of it. I try to think of things that are happy or, I don't know, I just pull myself out of the negativity. You can't wallow in it because it only gets worse. So, and then anytime I'm like in a situation where I'm annoyed by somebody or there's something that I feel is going to send me in a negative direction, I try and snap myself out of it as fast as possible. Another thing you're going to want to do to stay positive is don't be around negative people because like I said, negativity kind of, once it starts, it just it festers and it brings more neg negativity. So something you don't want to do. Another thing that helps me um, because I do love beauty products, I love pampering myself, I do things at home that I know make me happy facial treatments, um, I try to take bubble baths when I feel stressed or tired, and those are little simple things that can bring you joy in your life and bring you happiness. So it may sound silly, but it is the little things that count sometimes. Um, or just go take a walk or do something that is going to relieve your stress and bring happiness to you. If you love to bake, then bake. If you like to put on makeup, practice putting on makeup. Um, when I was younger, if I was like in a bad mood, and this was kind of me doing it back then and not even realizing I was doing it, but if I was in a bad mood when I was younger, I really, really loved to sing when I was like probably middle school, through, throughout high school, I was in choir and everything. So I would just turn my music up in my room really, really loud and sing for however long it took me to get out of my bad mood, but it worked. It always worked. So it's things like that that we have to be proactive about if we want to be happy people. Um, happiness is a choice. It's not something that just comes easy. So those are kind of my tips and what has worked for me. Stay positive. Surround yourself with positive people. Um, enjoy the things in your life that are good and be aware of them. 
and that will make a huge difference. I mean, these things all sound really simple, but believe me, they make a big difference. So, I um, hope this video helped you guys, and like I said, I'm not an expert on finding happiness or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys things that help me, and hopefully will help you. So, um, I guess that's it. Oh, Bentley's here. He wants to say bye. So, say bye, Bentley. Say bye. I guess he doesn't like being on camera. So, I will see you guys in a video very soon, and that's it for today. Bye.